Hey everyone, Jordan here from the Prolocase team. For today's Prolotech tip, I'm going to go over the basics of fancy turning. Here at Prolocase, we are a one-stop shop for custom manufacturing. We help you keep your projects on track by making your fully finished, custom CNC machine and sheet metal parts quickly in as fast as two to three days. And we never enforce a minimum order requirement. Whether it's quantity one or many, we welcome it all. We've covered many different CNC machining topics in our Prototech Tip series, including milled features, complexity, and finishes. Check out the links to those below. But for today, we're going to focus on CNC turning. The CNC turning process is performed on a CNC lathe. CNC turning is a machining process that holds a piece of metal round stock on a spindle and then spins it. As the stock rotates, a cutting tool removes material from the bar stock in order to create a desired shape. CNC turning is most commonly deployed to make cylindrical parts, but we can achieve other shapes too, including squares and hexagons. We can also deploy CNC milling after the turning process in order to create hybrid geometries that are somewhat cylindrical but also have other features. Let's talk materials. We stock aluminum, cold rolled steel, and stainless steel bar stock here at Protocase in a variety of diameters. If you're looking for a different material for CNC turning other than what we stock, contact us and we can source it. While we can use taps, reamers, end mills, and other tools typically seen on CNC mills in our lathes, the main tools deployed for CNC turning are different than the typical tools you'll see in a CNC mill. Lathes use stationary tooling and inserts to create features on the inside and outside of the part. There are turning tools, also referred to as outer diameter tools, or OD tools for short, and there are boring bars, which are also called inner diameter tools, or ID tools for short. With CNC turning, we are able to create a variety of different features on turned parts, including turns, grooves, bores, and threads. Stay tuned, we'll have a specific Prototech Tip video about CNC turn features coming up in the future. As with all of our custom manufacturing, there are important constraints to keep in mind. First up, work envelope. We use an 8 inch diameter chuck with a 2 inch spindle bore. This creates a usable area for parts of up to a diameter of 6 inches and a length of 10 inches. Our CNC lathes allow for live tooling, which means we can achieve mill type features while the part remains fixed in the lathe. This means reducing the overall machining setup time, which will bring down your cost. Another constraint to keep in mind is the length of the part. As a rule of thumb, make sure the length to diameter ratio is never greater than 5. However, at smaller stock diameters, this general guideline does not apply. At smaller diameters, the ratio needs to be even lower. This is because at smaller diameters, the length has a much greater impact on the deflection of the part. If the length to diameter ratio is too long, the pressure from the cutting tool combined with the stiffness of the part may cause the material to deform, or in some cases, even break the part. Now, there are some exceptions to this rule. The length of a turned part can be more than five times the diameter if we are only performing turning operations at the ends of the part. This is because we are able to choke up on our part in the work hold, which will leave us less unsupported length during the turning process. We can also get around this constraint by using a tailstock to support the end of the part, as long as you're okay with a center drill at the end of the part. A center drill is simply a small conical hole. Using a tailstock will add complexity to design and increase your cost. We can also achieve very tight corner radii. For best ergonomics, we recommend an inside corner radius of no less than 1 of an inch. We can go smaller, but material removal rates will decrease and tool breakage will increase, which can drive up your cost. We can assess your design based on your specific needs and priorities. By default, we hold a tolerance of plus minus five thousandths of an inch. It is possible to achieve a tighter tolerance in some instances, depending on the part geometry and tool being used. If you require a tighter tolerance than our standard plus minus five thou, please make sure to let us know quoting. So as mentioned off the top, we're your one-stop shop for custom manufacturing. That means we offer many different finishes for your custom parts to suit your specific requirements and aesthetics. CNC turned parts will have a surface finish with visible tool marks due to the spinning motion produced by the CNC lathe's cutter. We call this no finish. If your CNC turned parts exterior hasn't been turned, meaning the original diameter of the round stock is untouched, your part will have a stock finish. That means it is left as raw material, so there may be scratches or even material identification print or stickers from the supplier. If you're looking for a smooth, uniform finish on your part, you should opt for a secondary finish that will minimize or cover your CNC tool marks. You can choose from vibratory finish, media blasting, or powder coat for the best coverage. We covered our bare metal finishes in a previous tech tip video. Check that out in the link in the description. In the end, Protocase is here to make your parts quickly and with the fully finished look you desire so that you can keep your work on track. Learn more by visiting our website. And if you've got any specific questions, comment below, and we can cover it in a future tech tip. 
If you've got a design that you'd like quoted, contact us by emailing info at protocase.com or by using our request a quote feature on our website. Thank you for watching this week's Proto Tech Tip. We'll see you back here next week.